And elsewhere in your health news, a team of researchers at Michigan State University are testing a new program that can help prevent postpartum depression. In fact, it's been shown to reduce postpartum depression by 50%, and now they're looking for more people in, in Illinois to join the study. Joining us now is Dr. Jennifer Johnson, founding chair of MSU's Department of Public Health. Dr. Johnson, thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you so much for having me. Well, why don't we start with the importance of this? Can you give us some context? How many people does postpartum depression impact? So uh, half a million women per year, um, one in eight, um, get major depression within a year of having a baby. That is a huge number here. And, and we talk about postpartum depression. I want to make sure we're being clear about this. It's, it's not just simply feeling sad, is it? No, it's not simply feeling sad. It's loss of interest in things, feelings of sadness, emptiness that go on and on, can be troubles with appetite, trouble sleeping, trouble with energy. In serious cases, it can be suicidal thoughts. Um, it really causes a lot of suffering. So now what is this team doing? Tell me about this program. Sure, so we have found that four classes during pregnancy can prevent half of cases of postpartum depression before they start. So there's one thing, I mean, it's important after birth to screen moms, to connect them to care, but if we can prevent postpartum depression from happening in the first place, that's even better. And so we have a program um, that prevents half of the cases, but right now um, it's only been recommended for moms at risk for postpartum depression. But what we're trying to say is that we can't tell for sure who is at risk. And so that we're making the case that we should offer it to everyone. And so that's the purpose of this new study is to show that if we offer it to everyone, it can be helpful and that every mom should have the opportunity um, to, to get this program. So if someone joins in on this program, how does it work? Is it, is it for virtual sessions? Yes, four virtual sessions. And the idea is, you know, a lot of people think that they try to be a hero um, after they have a baby. I remember, you know, the difference between my second and my first was with the second. I didn't feel embarrassed to ask someone to babysit while I took a nap, right? So what this does is that, you know, this is going to be a more complicated time than usual. Who can we... Um, get set up to help you? Um, how can we plan to put things into place so you're not so tired, not so overwhelmed, and you have the things you need? So now you're looking for more study participants from 10 different states, and one of those is Illinois. How can people join this? What can they expect if they throw their hat in the ring? Sure, so we have um, an online form that you can fill out at www.rosemom.org. It's R-O-S-E-M-O-M.org. And then you would uh, talk to some of my staff. Um, but if you're, uh, you know, uh, the study seems like a good idea to you, um, it's potentially four virtual sessions during pregnancy, a check-in after pregnancy, and two other interviews. And like I said, we would love to have as many people as possible because what we're trying to show is that this should be offered to everyone. I mean, Dr. Johnson, my last question for you is, what is your hope for the end of the study? What impact do you want this research to have? Yeah, sure. So right now, the recommendations are written that moms at risk should be offered postpartum depression prevention. But as we've worked to scale this program throughout the country, we've learned you can't tell who's at risk. And it's actually hard for agencies and clinics to screen people. And so it's it seems better more equitable, more cost-effective to just offer it to everyone. So we would like to change the recommendations around pregnancy so that every mom has, a, has the opportunity to have access to these services. Especially when there are stats like one in eight that are out there. One in eight, half a million a year. Jeez. Dr. Johnson, thank you so much for the work that you're doing and for also joining us here on The Current today. Thank you so much for having me. For you guys at home to learn more about this study, joining it, you can head over to our website, wqad.com, and click on the As Seen on TV tab.